Hello everybody, this is Alastair from alastairsviolinstudio.com. Today we're going to be discussing scales and the fingerings of scales. I think the most difficult aspect of remembering scales is the fingerings. What fingerings do I do for major? What fingerings do I do for minor? And especially when you're under pressure, this is something that needs to be reviewed and practiced. So today I'm going to give you an easy four-step process for remembering all of these fingerings. So let's begin. The first category in the scales is called the outliers. And these are the scales that have only a fingering that is particular to that scale. So it would be G major and G minor in this category, and B flat major and B flat minor. So let's begin with G major, shall we? Now you're going to one on the D here, and one on the D. And we have a half step here, then two with the B. So that's G major. Next we have G minor. And before we begin the actual fingering process, I want to discuss what kind of minor scale we are going to play. There are three different types, but in this case we're always going to stick with melodic minor. Okay, so melodic minor is going to have higher notes on the way up and lower notes on the way down. So here is a one octave version of this. That's the raised. Here's lowered. So that's what melodic minor should sound like. So here we go with the three octave version. same going up, like G major. Now, on the way down, it's going to be different. You're going to shift here with your 3, to a D, and 1 on A. So that's G melodic minor, and all scales will be melodic, so just G minor, right? Next is B flat major. Now this one is a little bit different because we're going to be starting in second position, right? So in an audition setting, you don't want to do, you know, like finding second position with your bow, right? So there's an, op an option to this, the secret option, right? So which is finger tapping. When you push your finger onto the fingerboard here, you can hear a slight sound, almost like pizzicato, but without the extra noise. It's only something you can really hear. And that is allowed in an audition. So you push your second finger here, and you find the pitch, and then what you do is you scoot your first finger there and replace it. And if you're not sure exactly where it is, you can check it again with your first. And there you have it, that's second position. So let's start. And we have one, our first shift, and one more. Now we have four, four on the way down. And D. And A with your second finger. Okay. 
Now B flat minor. Again, very similar going on the way up. Shift. Shift. And here's where it differs. Three. Two, two. That's the outliers category. Next, we have the A's. This is the A's category because it's all the A scales. A flat major, A major, A flat minor, A minor. So here we go. A flat major and A major are the same fingering. So we're going to start with A flat major here. <laughs> And 4 4 again at the top. 3 2 Okay, so that will be the same for A major. So I will show you A major. scales. So here we go with A flat minor. That is the same for A minor, same exact fingering. guys that's the second category now third category and fourth category are both called CDEF and that's just the acronym of all the scales that I put together C D E flat E and F for the majors and C D E flat E and F for the minors so this is the rest of your scales here in these two categories all with only two fingering types. I'm only going to show you one in each category because all the rest are similar in, in, uh, in that case. So here we go with C major. I'm going to show you C in both categories. So this one will be the major version. <laughs> And again, you just transplant that 
fingering type for each one, all on the G string. Don't forget that. All of these scales in the C def categories should all begin on the G string. Okay, none of these should be in any other position. Okay, so this is C minor with the C def scales. This is the fourth category and the last category. Mm -hmm. 